Hello, darlings. Happy Monday to all of you. And welcome to Let's Build the World. <sighs> Hello. We're on a new lot today, my loves. This is being pre recorded, so you'll have to excuse me all week. I'm going to repeat this once only this week. Do not forget that it's only three. Look at my glasses, wonky. Yeah. Very rude. Don't forget there is only three videos this week. One coming today on Monday, one on Wednesday, and one on Friday as well. It's going to be all Let's Build the World this week with this lovely family that I'm going to introduce you to. The Astor Bamfords. A very exclusive family in the world of Willow Creek that was heavily inspired by Brie Van de Kamp, this iconic queen right here. One of my, probably, if not my favorite, Desperate Housewife character. Um, and we're definitely going to be building, not a replica of her house, but a, ha a house that looks a bit like this. Ta-da! Which is, I'm going to move over here, which is Brie's house from the Desperate Housewives um, series. I absolutely love this house. It's beautiful. So this is what we're going to try and portray today and get across in this part. So you're probably going to see me glancing over to the screen because I do have this reference image. And I want to just go for that beautiful classic looking American um, house, which is what we're going to do today, my darlings. Yes, we are indeed. Um, as always, the first part, we don't really normally get a lot done, but we're going to try and get the main kind of facade done. And then obviously I'm going to introduce you to the family itself and explain a bit more about their characters. So yes, without further ado, let's get into game. Let's introduce the family and stop building. So here they are. This is the Astor Bamford family. I will go around and introduce you to all of them in just a second, concentrating mainly on this main character here. This is Elizabeth, Elizabeth Astor Bamford. She is the most prestigious housewife on the street. Um, every housewife, and not only housewives, wives, people look up to Elizabeth. Elizabeth is the, I don't know, the epitome of perfection. Everything she does is just perfect, down to the way she cooks, the way she, I don't know, kind of like presents herself to people. She's very well spoken, very well highly educated, comes from a very high family as well. Um... And, but not as all what it seems. I think you know where I'm going with this storyline. This family is very dysfunctional. They don't get along at all. I've made them all absolutely hate each other, <sighs> including the husband and wife. Now, this is the husband in question. He is called Gilbert Astor Bamford. He is actually from the Bamford family. Elizabeth is from the Astor family. They just put their names together because they did not want to lose their kind of, I don't know, reputation as to what the names or their surnames actually come with. Um, you can imagine what his family are like, probably like holidaying in the Hamptons, many multiple properties around, all the private schools you could ever wish for they've gone to, both of these, including these two here, which I will go and introduce you to. Now, Gilbert is the main kind of breadwinner. He is a computer scientist. He's got his own company that delve into that kind of realm of things. So he brings home a lot of the bacon, whether as Elizabeth is, she's got her fingers in all the pies. She does all these charity events. She's very much the kind of front and face of this family, you could say, really. Um, but these two have just had conflicting issues for many years. But rather than going through the kind of pain of a divorce, these two decide to just sort of stick together. Um, sadly, they're not getting along. They haven't for many years. They're just with each other because... I reckon Elizabeth has got very old-fashioned values. You can imagine just like Brie has in Desperate Housewives. Divorce would not fit in well with her kind of reputation. And and I reckon Gilbert is just kind of sticking around to try and make Elizabeth happy in a way, even though he is definitely getting his fingers in other pasties, if you know my drift, which I'm going to make apparent as well. Um, and who, you may say, you'd, you'll have to find out when I start doing the Let's Plays. But let's just say he's not being a very faithful husband, shall we say. Um, and Elizabeth is absolutely fuming about it. Knows everything and just turning a blind eye to it. 
as long as it doesn't deface her name, which she hopes it doesn't. Look, she looks absolutely fuming. She looks fuming, and I'm for it. I really am. Oh, my God. Now, this is Remington, Aster Bamford, and uh, what was your... Catherine. I was just about to call you Kate then, and I thought, no. Catherine and Remington are obviously... Um, teens. They are teens. I reckon there's about a year or so in between them. They don't get along either. They find each other very annoying. I reckon Catherine is very kind of stuck up, um, knows that she comes from money and uses it to her advantage. This She is definitely a party sim. She likes to go out, socialize with her friends. And I don't think there is much kind of like in between her ears, if you know what I mean. And I'm not going on the stereotype with blondes and whatnot, because that's just shit. I know many blondes in my life and they're all very intelligent. Thank you very much. Um, but I thought that would be kind of a nice sort of vibe to go for. She's very popular. Popular for the wrong reasons. She's not a nice person. She likes to shower at people. She's a bit of a bully as well, I would imagine. Um, and Remington is not much better. He is your typical kind of um, varsity jock. Is that the right word for it? We're going to call it that anyway. Um, so he's definitely a bit of a bully. I would imagine he's got... Look at his face. I can't. I absolutely can't with you, Remington, like that. I reckon Remington has got maybe a slight drug problem. I reckon he's got a slight drug problem. He goes around, smokes a bit of this, does a bit of that, mainly to look cool in front of his friends. Um, and they are very few and far between as well because they all kind of rally around him. I reckon he's kind of like the king, if you know what I mean. The prom king. The prom queen is that kind of vibe. It's that kind of family. You think that everything looks perfect on top, but in reality, these guys do not get along. And they're not very nice people either, to be honest with you. I reckon Elizabeth is not that much of a bad person. Same same with Gilbert, to be honest with you. But um, maybe it's their marriage that had stopping them from being the people that they could be. But I just really want, got inspired from Desperate Housewives. And I really wanted to create this beautiful character here, Elizabeth, who's absolutely fucking fuming. Um, but I think it's going to be very interesting to, um, I don't know, just see this family develop. She is obviously in the Dows, the Dames of Willow Creek Society, which is going to be a group that I will make with all the prestigious housewives and wives and all sorts in that club. She is going to be maybe the front runner. I don't know. I'm not too sure about that yet, but definitely got a big foot in that um, particular group. But yes, I thought this is a cool family. I really, really can't wait to do their house. I'm really excited about building this house. Um, so I think without further ado, let's get into game and start properly building. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm going to put the house over to the side a little bit. Main reasons being, I definitely want to do that little, like there's a barn next to it that is like kind of a driveway. I'm thinking about doing that, but I don't know. I'm not too sure yet. This is the only opening for a driveway, which is going to be really annoying, but I could maybe swing it around a bit. Might look a little bit different. We're going to get inspiration from this house. Massive amounts of inspiration. Do I want to go medium height here? Um, Maybe. I'm unsure yet. And as I said, you'll probably see me looking over here quite a lot because I will be getting this reference image, hopefully. Um, down to a T. Probably not, but we're going to give it a good old bash anyway, darlings. So let me get the main house done first, and then we'll move the house and see where we want to actually position it. Uh, then it kind of comes around here like this. What, can I go like one? Is that going to be too small? No, I reckon that might be okay, actually. It depends on what the top part's going to be like. So this all might change, but let me do this first. I think I'm going to come out here and have a little conservatory moment. I know I could look online and see what the back of the house is like, but I'm just going to go ahead and put my own spin on it, you know? I'm just inspired. Inspired at the minute because, as you guys know, my love for Desperate Housewives has came back after all these years, and I'm I'm in love with it. I won't lie. Right, and then all the way around this is like lip. I'm going to do that because that's where I'm going to do a roof line on that. I might make it slightly bigger in the front. Bring this all the way around like that. Oh, is that wonky? Oh, yeah, I didn't do the lip there either. There we go. Okay. Okay, that might be okay. I might have to go in there with just one, actually, rather than doing two there. That's probably going to be the way I have to do it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyway, so, and then this bit here is probably the same amount as the bottom, isn't it? Let me just check that. 
yeah and then there's another roof line on top then as well so i'm probably just gonna go straight oh no what there's a bump out here there is a bump out hopefully i can make that happen because i'm gonna do a yep i'm gonna do a roof line there it's gonna be stunning and what i mean is i'm gonna do a roof line there it's got this like arched kind of colonial look to it and then flop this one all the way around as well oh this one's out too here Ah, okay. That was... Mm, why is it only out one there, though? Hang on a minute, love. Hang on a chuffing minge. Ah. <laughs> Someone definitely knows that. And how wonky the downstairs was. Shush. I don't want to hear it. Anyway, and we're going here. We're going to do that to there. Oh, that's not going to get registered as a room because the Sims, you know? Do I want to keep that short height? Probably short height. I might even go short height down here, to be honest with you. Let me have a look. Yeah, I think I will. I think I might do that. And then here, they've kind of got two windows there with a chimney breast in the middle. And then up here is another roof line here too. So that kind of like goes to about maybe there. Let me see this. And then I'm going to whiffle this all the way along to there like that. And then at the top here, it's got even more of a bump out. So I might actually, I'm going to make this a little bit wider here and see if that will work. Um, and then at the top here, there's a little bump out here too. Hmm, that one's going to look a bit weird, I think. It might not. We'll see what happens. I'm going to bump that out there too. Lovely. Okay. God, it's a huge house. And it looks weird because there's no roof lines on it. It just looks like blocks at the minute. But hopefully this will come together. Now, I don't know. I probably want to use um, half-hipped all the way around on these parts, maybe. Let me see if this will work. I reckon it will work, but it's just testing it. Testicles. Um, Just to say. Yes, but that's probably... I don't know. Maybe that isn't too high. That might be okay. Now I'm looking at this though. I still, I think this needs to come out too here. I am going to do that. I am going to do that. And I'm going to pull that along to there because there's going to be a roof line on that part anyway. So I'm going to boosh out this. Hopefully that would be in. Yeah, that should be all right. How are we going to do that roof line there? Um, I might have to just be a flap. There's like a roof line coming down there. I'll test that. Um, off of camera just so I can see if it works or not. If not, we'll have to rethink the entire thing. Um, and then I'm going to flop you into there as well. That's probably a bit too tall, that. Yes, that is. You need to come down and meet. Um, um, can I tuck you into there? No, I know what I need to do there. That was difficult. <laughs> that was difficult to try and get this roof shape here. Um, but I reckon I've managed to do it okay. It's not perfect, but this is the Sims. And we're just going to have to deal with what we've got, darlings. So I've had to make the this one at a medium height wall. And I'll show you the roof pieces that I had to do. This bit here was I just kept it all one tile wide. So I'll show you the roof pieces that I decided I had to do. So onto this side here, what I needed to do was do a little bump out like I've done here. So let me get rid of this wall because I'm going to be putting some windows on there, I think. Um, and what I did was come out like this to about there, I think, wasn't it? Yes, we're going to get rid of that so it doesn't confuse us. Okay, stunning. And then this was the difficult bit because as soon as I... Oh no, did I pull that in one? I did. I pulled this in one as well. And the same here. So maybe I need to shuffle this down now as well. Let me see where that is going. Yes, that's right. That's right. Okay, we're, we're on a roll. And then there was the, I was left with this weird part here. So what I needed to do with that was put in a roof piece. Uh, I cannot remember what this roof piece is called. We're going to name her Sharon. <laughs> we're going to name her Sharon. Was that three? It was three wide. Okay, so it was three wide. And I needed to put it in this position here. And what that does, it covers that big gap that's going to be there. Um, and then still keeps the same roof shape going on. But I, what I had to do was move, maneuver this so it kind of like stuck in with that as well. Stunning. So you see that kind of roof shape we've got going on there. What roof shape is that out of curiosity? It's a half gabled, darlings. 
half gabled, another half gabled roof here to fill in that part there. Um, have I been bringing flaps out on that? I haven't. Flaps are tucked in, loves. Flaps are tucked in. And then this bit here, I need to go over like this. So we've got that to rest upon now. Same on this shape here. I did this one down here, but I also did another piece like that and that covers that like weird gap do you know what i mean like this little weird gap in there see it that was just bothering me so what i had to do was use this half cabled roof to just cover that really and i still like the shape of it i still like the shape of it i think it's nice um and i'm here for it you americans and your complicated roofs what is with that stop it stop being so silly Stop being so silly. Just have a nice roof put on it. For goodness. So I thought that shape is nice. I thought it was nice. I think it's going to match in okay. I don't think it's going to be perfect. But we are not striving. We are not striving. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. Goodbye. We are not striving for perfection. Says me. Who can't even say it. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, what more could be done? What more could be done? And speaking of perfection, I just noticed where my camera was and I've just moved it for us because I was in the wrong position. How very dare I? Okay, flaps tucked in. I'm going to put the roof line on top first. So let me get this roof line on. And I think we're just going to go for a normal gabled roof. Tuck all flaps in for the minute until I've got this in position those need to be tucked in as well. I don't think I want it that high. Let me see that. No, I don't. I don't want it that high. I want it to be more along that kind of vibe. I may even do the same here. I am going to be putting a chimney here as well. So let me just move this down. Now I've got that other roof piece on. We're going to be doing a chimney in the middle. Let me see that. Yeah, I think this could work. I think it could work. But again, we're not striving for a replica of this house because I... I don't think you could achieve a replica of that roof in The Sims, to be honest with you. You probably would be able to, but the way that I've gone about it, you can. So we're going to go along the lines of it. I still think this would be a very attractive house. Lots of roofing. Um, and Bree's going to be absolutely made up with it. The only problem is this is out too far now. That's better. Yeah, we'll do, we've just, I've took out that bump out here and I've just pushed in this one a bit further. So it's missing the bump out now. But do you know what? I think it's going to be a little bit more attractive doing it that way. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to dra drag you all the way across the end here as well. So we can copy either side using these ones. Um, I'll put another one there. This is like a roofing um, build for today. But the roof is important. I want it to look beautiful. And I kind of like that. It's got this like barn-esque vibe to it as well. Because... I am going to be putting a little mini barn off to the side for the parking. Now, I wanted to test something without the use of testicles. I'm thinking about pulling these flaps out now. So let me see what that would look like. Oh, that looks quite nice, actually. I'm thinking it may work. Um, need to pull up this side for a start because that's down too low now. So up to meet all those, please. Thank you. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. Do we want to do it to these as well? I mean, that the one in the picture hasn't. But let me just see what it would look like. No, I just prefer those. I prefer those having the kind of Eevee flaps. Flopping and flapping about. So we'll do the same over this side here as well. And then I'm going to get in the chimney breasts. I think I'm going to go for the same colour scheme as well as what the original house has. The red brick at the bottom with like the bluish panelling on the sides. Um, I'm kind of for that. I do, however, need to pull these down now. So I think I did three. One, two, three. And the same here. One, two, three. That was right, wasn't it? Let me see from the front. Yes. Yeah, I like that. I like how that looks. I think that's a, an attractive roof line. Um, on top here, it is half gabled. So I'm probably going to do the same here as well. And I might even leave the flaps out for that one. Let me see that. Oh, yeah, I do like that. Okay, and we'll do the same on the other side as well. Same on the other side. Um, it's going to be a nice big board, big boo, big four bedroom house as well. So, yeah, I'll make that apparent. And then we're going to go for a chimney breast. Now, I think this chimney breast would fit perfectly into the middle here. So, I am going to come out with the chimney breast like that. And I, do I want to do another one like there? Let me see that. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, I don't mind that. Oh, no, because I'm going to have chimneys on top. Now, I know this would not meet the code. Um, chimney code. Because it's not as high as the rooftop and whatnot. But as I said, this is The Sims. So we're going to do it. And I'm going to use this red brick. This might change, but I do want to do red brick at the bottom as well. So this will match in quite nicely. I do believe. So let's try it. Oh, God, I'm videoing here. Stop it. I always press bloody V instead of B. There's my little portrait there. <laughs> anyway, so you up here, you to there like that. And then I'm going to put a chimney blast on top of this as well. Let me see that. And you can go there for the minute. You might change. Chimney might change. But I think that is the basic shape of the house that I want to go for. for this one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here yet. I may even change this roof line. Um, or maybe even come out some. Oh, what would you look like, actually? Mm, you're going to look bad. <laughs> you're going to look bad. You you do well there, though. That would look nice. Maybe I'll get rid of this bump out and just have, like, a nice veranda around the back. That might be nice. Yes, but I'm going to struggle with windows. We'll have to do different windows on this side anyway. Um, And that's what we're going to do next. We're going to find some lovely windows. Can we get some better lighting here? Of course not, because these lots are all shitly lit. Um, so let me find the perfect wallpapers and windows. Okay, I think I found something. I think I found something. And um, what I'm going to do first is choose the the ceilings. <laughs> no, wait, and the roofs. <laughs> I'm going to choose the roof tiles. We're going to go for these slate roof tiles in this color here, which is just that bit of a darker number. I, I did, however, change the shape of this. So what I did here is I pulled down one of the flaps just on one side and then I whiffled it all the way along and it gave us this nice little like underskirt what we've got going on there. That's going to be difficult for windows, but we can use the smaller windows back there. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Now what I did was use this brick all the way around the bottom. I'm going to put this one on top just so I can I drop it later and then just put this one all the way around. Same with the chimney breast itself. Um, which is this base game brick. I just think that it matches in perfect with the chimney. Uh, we've gone for like a blue shingle rather than... Uh, um, rather than kind of like wood. Rather than wood, we've gone for shingle this time. Uh, and I think it's going to be all right. I think it's going to absolutely match in rather nicely. But let's finish what I was doing first. <laughs> with, with the actual uh, roof trip prep tiles. I'm failing. I'm sorry. Just gonna have to. You're gonna have to deal with my derpiness today, loves. Like you normally do. <laughs> like you normally do. Ah, <laughs> oh, Christ. This is why I don't pre-record. I can only manage one video a day, and this is my second. So you're gonna have to excuse me for my derpiness all week. I'm gonna say it all week. It's gonna happen, and we're just gonna have to come to terms with it, aren't we, darlings? Yes, and we can put that blue shingle on that little roof piece there as well because then that will blend away quite nicely right you all the way along there i do like this blue color very i don't know quite regal quite a regal tone and i'm for that i really am same up there as well did i put them on there i did what roof trims they've got white roof trims i'm wondering whether or not to do white roof trims oh god look at that look at you for goodness sake uh, changed my mind. I will prefer the green. I found like a soft, like sagey green color. And I just think it looks nicer with the red. So we're going to go for that. We're going to go for that. Now, this door here. This one dog door is from Seasons, I think. Is it from Seasons? It is. And then these windows, I thought, mapped perfectly. If I did them like here, but put a side by side, smaller one on each side like that. I thought it looked rather nice. And then up, same on this side here as well. Same on this side. And I'm going to... Oh, not you, darling. You're going up there. I want you. Side by side on this bit here as well. You know? I like that. And then here, what I decided to do was do two windows side by side. And it kind of like just acts as a bigger window then. So I'm going to make sure to get that in the middle. Let me get my grid on here, actually. So there was one, yep, yeah, there was one tile away from the edge. So it goes here and then onto the side there as well. You know, I like that. 
I do like that. I think that looks rather pretty. We're going to do all those trees and stuff on the outside as well. It's just going to be absolutely stunning. And we're all going to be here for it, aren't we? The answer to that, my darlings, is yes. Yes, we are. Um, do I want to do three windows up on the top here? I might pull them down a bit more, like around there. This is very high. I wish I could make this smaller, but we can't because it's on the shortest hall. Shortest wall height. Maybe I could bring that down. I can. I think that's that. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay. No, that's fine. I might have to move them up there. Just for balance purposes. Let me see that. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. I'm for it. I am. I'm absolutely for it. So I'm going to start doing the roof line and um, above the porch area now. So let me get my grid down to here. Move that to there. Tuck all flaps in. Thank you. Um, Where are you? You're going to go to there. And I'm going to tuck this flap into there. Bring that one to like there. And it's like a circular moment. Well, an arched moment here. I might have to pull those flaps in as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the right kind of position as I want it as well. Yeah. I'm kind of there for that. All right. Well, I'm going to color you to that. I might actually do this in brick. I might do this in brick above here. No, I'm not. I'm going to bring down the green. I'm going to bring down the green to there. Um, And then above it, I do need to put in a little floor space. So where's that? There we go. Oh, damn you. Damn you to hell. All right, there we go. To there. All the way along to there. I don't think I'm going to do a trim on this um build itself i'm unsure yet i'm unsure i don't know if it could handle it i think it might be it make, might make it look a little bit too heavy but we do however need to do a nice roof trim and i'm thinking probably yeah this one here would probably be the best way to go it's just got a little bit more of a pokey out kind of detail and i'm going to keep it in a crisp white as well so hopefully these won't make it look ugly because we've got several roof pieces here that might like make it look a bit weird um, see what I mean when it does that? I hate when it does that, but I can't do anything about that. Um, Sims, you know, that's all I need to say. Just Sims. I need to finish off the roof line underneath it there as well. But I think this is going to be a nice build. I do. I'm already enjoying it. So that's a good, um, that's a good sign. I'm already enjoying how it looks. Yeah, pretty. Very pretty indeed um so i wanted to do a driveway with like a little barn moment didn't i mm, i like how central this is though mm, i can still keep it central what i'm gonna do i'm going to move not delete it for good oh not bulldoze it either what i'm gonna do is move it shuffle it a bit more backwards to there it's quite it's a big lot this one it's a 50 by 40 i think this one yeah no 40 by 30 sorry so it is still quite a big lot I'm going to raise you up to a couple. Yep, yeah, like that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. It doesn't appear to have like a big porch area. All it appears to have is the main kind of area like that, which I'm for, because I could put some nice like colonial posts there. That would make it look rather lovely. Yes, for it. We're going to get rid of you. I'm not going to do the windows or anything out the back yet until we've got the kind of front... Um, looking the way that I want it to. Uh, I'm going to give it some brick foundations. So it doesn't look like it's just floating in mid-air. Lovely. Same with you as well. Do need to do some stairs here. Um, there isn't any stairs at the front here. But I'm going to put some in anyway. And I think maybe these stony ones would look nice. Let me see that. Yeah, I think that would look nice. I'll tag them all the way along there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get some of those colonial posts out. That will go with the ones from um, university. I think these could look rather lovely. Um, first off, I need to get a little trim back on you as well. And I think we do need to do some kind of trim here. I don't think we should go thick with it though. Because it would just make it look too heavy. So I think I'll go for a simple one. And just concentrate on putting it in some areas and not all. Unless I have an idea. Unless, let me pull, tuck you into there, love. Lovely. Are you the same here? You are. I'm going to pull you into. And you to there. Stunning. And you to there as well. 
And then I might be able to put this trim on without it looking weird. Simple exterior trim. Let's get those, all those roof lines back up. That's better. Maybe I could put this just at the front. What would that look like? Let me see this. Come on, find the sweet spot. Oh, there it is. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't actually mind that at all. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. Even though that these are sitting weirdly inside it now, though, which I'm not for. But yes. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, we're going to go along the roots of that. Now, there is a window on either side here, which I'm going to do. I'm going to pop a window. I said I wasn't going to do this, but I just want to see what it's going to look like. Why are you turning sideways? Because Sims. That's why. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. Why? There is no reason for you to do that. Please stop. Yes. Yeah, I like that. There is like, to, in the picture, there's two more like windows up on the top here, but we're not going to do that. As I said, we're just getting nice inspiration from here and that's all. That is all. Um, I'm going to do a white picket fence. I think it deserves a white picket fence. Uh, and I'm going to probably... Um... Uh, I kind of do want this to be off to the side a little bit. Now I'm thinking, I know I'm fussy. I'm fussy, but you just got to deal with it. Right, I'll do you two about there. Lovely. And then we're going to do the, like, kind of um, car park slash barn looking thing over to that side there. Which we won't get to today, but as as long as you know it's coming. We'll, we'll start on that tomorrow. We'll start on that tomorrow. Um, Where is that white picket fence, please? I just had it. Thank you very much. Let's get down to this level. So I'm going to need, like, an open part for the car to be able to come through so i think that's wide enough for the car stop to there i don't think i'm going to do a fence i'm going to do i'm a, a gate sorry i think i'm going to do some kind of arched moment there maybe with some flowers or something i'm going to bring you all the way around to there and then skirt you in there stunning uh and then i'm going to go to here but i think i'm going to do a big hedge down on this side so it kind of hides the majority of it did I bring that in at the right point? I didn't. I need to go to there. And the same there. Let me see that. Yes, I think that... God, the lighting is awful on these lots. They really are. Um, I mean, that's pretty, but that's dark, isn't it? Very dark. Um, So let me go and pull out some landscaping stuff. And we'll just make a little start today. But I think we'll continue with the rest of this tomorrow. So I've made a bit of a start just so you can kind of see the vibe that I want to go for. I definitely want to get some wisteria on the front of this. I think it would be so nice. Plus some other details, window boxes, lots of flowers. We're going to do like a nice flower bed here and here. I kind of wind off. This needs perfecting, by the way. But I've kind of wind off the driveway to go back here, which is where we're going to be putting the garage around this part here. But so far, so good. I'm actually pleased with how this is looking. But um, we'll come back to this on Wednesday and we'll crack on with more exterior work, more garden work. I think that's what the, most of this week is going to be, is getting the exterior done. There we go, my loves. All done for today. Um, We made a start and I'm kind of happy with how the Bamford Astor, Astor Bamford house is coming along. Let me know down below what you want some drama to happen. I might be a little bit lacking on answering comments this week, so do bear with me. But I am a kind of away um, but I will read them all, I promise, I promise. So yes, I'm going to leave you now. I'll see you all again on Wednesday. Goodbye.